Hello and welcome, my name is Lazar and today we are trying out Juju. Juju is a puzzle platformer, a rather colorful, <laughs> isn't it? Uh, the developer is Wildhawk Studios. They are known for Shadow Warrior and a Hard Reset, if I'm not mistaken. So this is a rather interesting departure for them. Uh, the keys are fully rebindable. You can use mouse uh, and keyboard or controller. Uh, actually, the mouse doesn't really have any function. You just use the keyboard from what I saw. Let me get into this level and show you a little bit of gameplay while I talk about the game. So like I said, puzzle platformer. Now the aesthetics might lead you to believe this is not a... Well, I wouldn't say a serious game, okay? It might lead you to believe to not take it seriously, but that is clearly not the case, as I will show you. It has all the elements of modern day platformers. You have this glide with your feathers and all that. Uh, and for example, here, if I stand on this, these platforms will activate and I gotta move fast, all right? on them before they, they, if I stand too long, they will uh, retract and I'll have to start over again. This is just a example, you guys will get to see m many others. The point being, it has all the elements of modern day platformers and it should be taken seriously. Now the graphics, the visual art style, is something else we need to talk about. Now obviously, it's maybe it's aimed at a younger crowd and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. With what I do have a problem with, and this is my perspective on it, okay, you guys don't necessarily have to agree, I believe it's more aimed at girls. Do you guys believe that? I mean, the main character is a pink girl panda, alright? You do have another character and since we are on the subject, let me show you, okay? For example, I'm gonna put my controller down right now. I'm gonna hit the enter key, okay? And I can choose from either this lizard thingy or a male version of Juju. Let's call him Jojo. I don't know the name of any of the characters. Oh, ain't she cute? Look at that. She's all tuckered out. Okay, so let's say I select the lizard. Mr. Lizard, okay? And I click on jump. And here I am, Mr. Lizard. And now we can play two-player co-op on the same machine. Now, another thing I appreciated on Juju, let's say one of the players needs to go. Okay, you can just drop out with no problem. If the main player needs to drop out, okay, let me just put player two back on. Okay, this would be player two on the keyboard right now. And like, if player one, me, Juju the Pink Panda, uh, wants to drop out, it just turns into a bubble. Now I can play with my lizard friend. Alright, and the bubble will just follow me around. Maybe my friend that was playing with me will return or something. And he can drop right back in. The bubble doesn't do anything, okay? It doesn't discomfort you in any way, shape, or form. But let's get back to Juju. Alright, let me... How do I... Alright, and there we go. And skaboom. So like I said, I believe the main character... Uh, and in general, the aesthetics, I mean, you gather butterflies. Come on. Okay, so you're a pink girl panda and you gather butterflies. I think they... I don't know if this is on purpose or not, but this can alienate some of some potential buyers, if you ask me. And of course not, I'm not talking about children who would uh, find this appealing. I'm talking about adults, alright, that might uh, believe, and they actually should do this, uh, that this game would uh, would be right for their children. After all, a puzzle platformer can increase uh, hand-to-eye coordination, dexterity, you know what I'm talking about, and obviously muscle reflexes, which for children uh, is important. I mean, uh, rather than playing Counter-Strike, give them a puzzle platformer to play, right? Give them a puzzle platformer. Alright, so that's my gripe with the game, and actually it's my only gripe with it. I think that it's kind of catered towards girls, and I really don't understand why they had to do that. Alright, see, I hit my Y button on my 360 controller, I hit my bongo drums, and disactivate it, and I can go on. Alright, so you have a dash, did you see the dash? Yeah, that's the dash, you can do it me there, you have a hover, flap, 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 and you use your bongo drums, okay, to activate certain parts of the level and certain mechanics. So like I said, it has all the elements of modern day platformers. You see, even has secret areas. You see this thing? 
it's underneath me all right if i press down i go through it and look more butterflies this is not actually a secret uh it, well it is a secret area but there are also secret levels all right there are secret levels which are timed oh damn it i'm not gonna make it am i oh yes yes i did uh, now during these secret time levels you gotta gather all the butterflies uh, And you will get a token. I don't know what that token does right now. I haven't gotten that far But you need to be quick about it. Okay, some skill is involved. Don't think you will get too much uh, Too much difficulty out of this obviously. Oh, here's a secret level. I didn't even know that was there Okay, let me sit. Let me show you the secret level. So don't think super meat boy difficulty. Okay, let's be real No, it's not uh, but it is extremely pleasant to play um, Before filming this video I uh, I was I was just playing around just trying it out uh, That's what I usually do in my first impression series I try games a little bit because I don't want to look like a total buffoon So I know what I'm talking about at least okay Let me try to get these See, you got on your upper right corner There's a timer now I gotta get these before that damn timer runs out or no token for me Whatever that token may do, I'm sure it's something. I got it! No, I missed it! Come on, dash for it! No, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on! Got it! Yes! Awesome. So, all my time, uh, in the time that I was testing it before the video, I, was, I just found myself constantly smiling at the game. This brings, for me, okay, for me, this brings memory of uh, Croc 2. You guys remember Croc 2? While I was growing up, uh, well, I was, uh, I don't know, what was it? It was in high school? I, I, I don't remember when it was. Um, I had two games which I really like. One was StarCraft and the other was Croc 2. Um, that, that just reminds me of that, although that wasn't uh, exactly a puzzle platform, or more like an action-adventure game. So what else is there to say about Juju? Who is this for? Who is this game for? If you want a nice casual relaxed laid back experience okay a more classic uh, puzzle platformer and the graphics are appealing to you then absolutely you will get uh, some nice time with juju I also want to show you a boss fight right let me quit this level I hope it doesn't come on let me quit this level please don't exit the windows and uh, game in progress yes all right let me show you the frog boss I right, the frog boss is very cute Alrighty, so you will get some, uh, you get a decent experience out of Juju if you want something casual, if you want something more laid back, or you want a more classic puzzle platform experience, then Juju is definitely for you. If you're looking for uh, something uh, very challenging, or uh, with online leaderboards and uh, super speed levels uh, that make you want to smash your controller into bits, you're not gonna get it. You are not gonna get it. Okay, you see the froggy? Froggy's trying to grab me with her tongue. Now what do I need to do is wait, okay? Now I go up her tongue and it's kapam! Haha, -ha, Mr. Frog, you did not catch me. You did not catch Mr. Frog. Alright, now he spawns these little frogs. You got two ways of killing these and here is a little life. You see up on your upper left corner it shows you my remaining hit life. Uh, now I got free. Now you can either jump on their heads or just smash through them with your dash. Right. Come on, Mr. Froggy. Come on, uh. you can't hit me. You can't hit me, Mr. Froggy. Ha ha! Ha ha, I'm too fast for you. Skabam! Yeah, this is, this is my problem with the game, okay? Uh, the main character and butterflies and everything kind of catered towards girls, but that's just my feelings on it. Uh, you guys may feel differently. I mean, I wish I could play as the main character, alright? I got his stung there by the robo arm and... Skabam in the face! Haha! Haha, -ha, Mr. Frog! I wish I, I had the option to select the male version of Juju if I so desired. Alright, and I just take this and Yahoo! Awesome. Well, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, nothing else I can really say about Juju except that I am enjoying my time with it. This is that kind of game where you don't want something too serious and you just want to relax, you know, and maybe get a laugh or two. Now, regarding price, this is another thing I wanted to talk about. It's currently 20 euro. Now, that's not exactly a big price now, is it? But considering the type of game it is, and I saw there's free worlds, 
you can play right now. This is the first one. If I yeah, hold on. Let, let, let's just check that for a second. I let's just check that for a second because I believe that 20 euro is a bit much. Is a bit much for this right now. Okay, so you got one, two, three. I can see four worlds, so I don't know exactly how much content there is, but uh, usually games like this uh, come around 15 euro mark. $15 mark depending on what region you are in. I just think it's a little bit steep. Maybe wait for a steam sale There aren't that many PC specific options But then again in a title such as this in a puzzle platformer I don't really see the point then more than resolution anti aliasing rebindable keys what it does have Okay, maybe a blur here a blur there But again, it's a platformer the story is not very well explained, but then again, it's a puzzle platformer do you really play this type of game for the story? Because if you do, you're in the wrong type of game for story. But other than that, there's absolutely nothing wrong with the game. It's completely functional. It's fun, okay, which after all is the main objective of a game. Is it not to be fun? Uh, it has potential for children, which is a big plus for me. We don't really see that many decent games come out for kids. Most are um jokes okay but this one now this one is a real platformer so it gets my seal of approval thank you for watching please like favorite share and subscribe and i'll see you again soon